What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. This is your boy Abu Bakar. So this is my day two in Niger. Um, so I'm in Neme. So I'm on my way to go and see the biggest market. They call it Grand Marché, but what? It's the biggest market in um, in Niger. Um, in, um, in, in Neme and in Niger, it's the biggest market. Honestly. <laughs> Let me tell you guys very funny something. Eh? I don't know how to pronounce the, 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 the capital city name. Neme. Is it called Neme or Name? I don't even know. But uh, it's something like that. If you know, please put it in the comments. But so, anyway, you know, I'm a Fulani. So, like, with the Fulani, we, we don't have, like, uh, we don't know how to pronounce. Like, people, you know, people that know Fulani, they know, like, we, you know, our pronunciation is not that too good. But anyway, so I'm inside the taxi now. So, I'm going to see the market. You know, I'm going to show you guys. I also see. Because honestly, I came, uh, I think, close to two days ago, uh, but uh, I was like, honestly, like, I, like, I'm tired. So yesterday, I was just at home, sleeping, you know, rest, you know, watch film, relax, talk to my family members, my friends. So today, I told him, well, let me just go out today, see the market, and so on. And also, today is my last day in Niger. Today is my last day in Niger. Sorry about that. Today is my last day in Niger. So I'm going to Nigeria tomorrow. I'll be going to Nigeria tomorrow, so I'm going to spend, I think I'm going to spend one week in Nigeria, close to two weeks in Nigeria, you know, because from Nigeria I want to travel to Rwanda, and, and I travel between Rwanda, Rwanda, Tanzania, Kenya, and so, so this is my last in Nigeria, I'm going to Nigeria tomorrow. So please, hey, anyway, please, if you watch my videos, you're in Nigeria, you're in Abuja and Lagos, I'm coming in, in Lagos and Abuja, then I need place to stay because my plan is to spend most of my time in Lagos, then spend like two or three days in Abuja. But anyway, so I'm on my way to the market now. So my host, my best friend, sister, came to drop me at the junction. She had talked to the taxi driver, so I'm on my way going. Let me just show you guys Niger. Niger is a very strange country, you know. It's, it's not the country where you, know, you will come and then, the, you know, you see it's beautiful. The culture, it's really a strange place, you know. Um, you know, civilization is far behind here. But anyway, but, it's, but people are good. Though. People are really good. You know, people don't have problems with, with, with foreigners, especially people that speak English. People are good. Like, as you can see, I'm doing fine, you know, I stay with my friend, you know, they are really taking care of me, they are making sure I'm staying safe, I'm having good food, I'm having rest, you know, they are making sure I'm having comfortable stays in the jail. So, I will turn the camera, then I will show you guys um, Niger and Naome. Is it called Naome? I don't really know, man. I'm sorry if, if um, I'm pronouncing bad, but let me just show you guys the streets of Niger. Yes guys, so this is Niger, as you can see there is a lot of traffic. I mean, if you look at um, Niger, I mean, I've been to Mauritania. If you look at uh, Mauritania and Niger, both of them, they are the same. Um, you know, the people, um, the culture, everything, you know. So it's like I'm in Mauritania, you know, it's like um, I'm in Noachlot, so. So this is Niger. Yeah, as, as you can see the traffic, guys, so inside the taxi. As you can see. So many traffic, so many traffic. And the and the roads are really small. Oops, 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 oops. I'm sorry about the shaking of the phone, the road is really bad. So many traffic, the woods are really small, you know. Honestly. Africa really need to invest in infrastructure, you know, road. We really need good road because, mind you, if you have a very bad road, you know, forget about trade, you know, trade will really poor. So anyway. So what I will do here is, and then, because I was videoing in the streets, then, then, one thing I've learned uh, with my ECOWAS country is travel, in this, especially in West Africa. Try as much as possible, you very be careful when you are shooting videos on the street. You understand what I'm saying? Try as much as possible, you, you control your camera. If the police sees you, you are videoing, hey, it's a very big problem. 
especially the scenes you, you are videoing on the streets, on the streets, it will be a very big problem. So as three as much as possible when you are videoing, you control your camera and then you reduce, like not take so many footage. Because police very get angry, you know, angry with people videoing, especially when they see you are foreigner. They become so scared, they think uh, you, are, it, uh, you want to spy on them, you know, you understand what I'm saying, like, you know, they, their mentality. So this one advice I will give every people traveling to these West Africa countries, especially ECOWAS countries, be it Ghana, be it Nigeria, be whatever ECOWAS country. Try as much as possible, you, 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 you look before you do video. And then also again, make sure your camera is not that too big. You can use your phone and if you have a GoPro, it's, it's very nice to travel with GoPro in Africa. Because you will take video, people don't know. So anyway, but uh, I'm on my way now to the place. So what I've decided is, I'm, I will wait till when I reach at the market, then I continue again the vlog. Guys, okay, so um, we have finally made it. So I'm, so I'm at the market now. Um, I'm walking at the market. Wow. It's so strange, guys. It's beautiful. Maybe I will buy something. Maybe I will buy in the chair jersey. Football jersey or maybe something, any something for the jerk, but I don't know. So I'm currently walking. Yeah. Let me show you guys. Let me show you guys the streets. Let me show you guys the market. Yes, guys. So this is the market, guys. This is the market. I don't know which one is that. Let me see. So, so this is the place. As you can see, all over is market. Let me see if I can get into. Like, I'm really scared for videoing. <laughs> but anyway, I, I will try. Let me see if, if I can get inside the market. Let me see. Let me buy watermelon. How much? My friend, give me one. Yeah, one, one. So, first thing first, I bought uh, watermelon. How much? Say hi. How much? How much? Mm -hmm. It tastes good, guys. Honestly, yeah, oh. Watermelon, it's good when the place is hot. It's really good. Like you, will, you will really enjoy it. Say hi. Say hello. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> It tastes good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. So guys, I've finished drinking, um, eating the watermelon. Let me just explain to you guys what just happened, yeah? I was drinking the watermelon. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get... So I was drinking the watermelon. The people begging on the streets. They came to to the boys selling the watermelon. So they were standing begging for money. The boy did not have money to, to give them. Do you know what he did? He gave them the watermelon, one piece of watermelon. And like I was like, oh, wow, that's really that's really nice. You know, I was so shocked and happy to see that. You know, it's good. You know, sometimes you know people, you know, because you know, you know, we need money for food, for shelter, that's what we need money for. But if someone comes for you to help, hey, please help me. You need money, maybe you want to buy cloth, you want to go to school. But it's not money the only way to give someone. You can give someone house, food, cloth. So that's what's really happy. So let's say if you have someone begging on the street, 
he or she come to your place. You know? he, if, if you have money to, to give them, if you have clothes or food, anything you have, just give. Yeah, I was really happy to see that, you know. Please, for everyone out there, you know, let's support each other. Let's ask one chance for people to support each other. So, let me go this way because I'm seeing this way, it's really congested. Like, I don't want to go to the places where there are so many people. So, let me turn the camera again and show you guys the beautiful people of Niger. What, what, what I've saw there, man, like, honestly, I've loved the country. You know, it really touched me, you know. Let me, let me try to turn the camera again and show you guys. I just pray I will not get any trouble today because most of the times I'm walking on the street. Most of the times I'm, I'm walking on the street. I'm trying to show you guys. I got caught by police. And then when they caught me, they were asking me for like $300. It's crazy. This but anyway, let me turn the camera again and show you guys the beautiful people. They are so beautiful. They, are, they have a beautiful heart. That's what I said, they are beautiful. So let me show you guys again. Niger, you come to Niger, man. I'm staying so alive. Let me know what's happening. I'm going to spend some So, so I'm still walking. I don't know which part of the market is this I'm walking at. I don't know, but I'm still walking around the market. Uh, it's big here. It's a, it's a really big market. So let me see if I can get outside back again. Hey, let me tell you guys something. Within this part of the wall, um, meat, um, it's really cheap. Like, uh, if you're a meat lover, you can eat, uh, you can eat meat till you're tired. Meat is this part of... Um, the wall, it's really cheap. Let me go down this way again. Then come back, then go to the other part of the market. Yeah, like, like people do not get and like, like the normal people do not get angry on camera. Like, I'm really shocked to see that in Niger, in in Mauritania, you cannot see that, bro. If you pull your camera up, the, even the kids are afraid of camera. You see this? 
even the kids in Mauritania, as soon as when you pull the camera, they will say, no, Jamba Power wants camera. But yeah, I mean, uh, people do have power with camera, as you can see, I'm using my phone. I'm even um, and then raising up high. So people do not get angry on camera. I'm really happy to know that. You know. So I want to go down over there, then come back again, then go to the other part of the market because I'm outside of the market now. So over there is the market, but I just want to go over there and see. I have crossed to the other side of the market. Let's see this other end. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I see the market very boring. Like, I'm not a lot of activities going on, a lot of noise. I don't know. And they said this is the biggest market in Nigeria. So I'm, I'm also working at this um, another area of the market. I think this will be my last walk. For me, I think I will just go home because I'm tired, man. I want to go and see if I can leave tomorrow to Nigeria. Yeah, but uh, I really want to buy a uh, Nigerian jersey, but I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing nobody having Nigerian jersey. Let me go this way. I'm not seeing nobody selling ja football jersey in Nigeria. I have asked, they said no. I'm only seeing Barcelona, Madrid, another Spanish English football club. Let me show you guys the market. Let me show you guys the market. Like this area I'm currently working at, it's uh, it have a lot of traders. It's dark, as you can see. Let me show you guys. I know my little boy, my little one. I thought the girl was shouting at me. It's like, who is this? Like crazy. Some people, when they see you, you are videoing, they will look at you like it's scary. <laughs> Let me go this area and see. Samsung, Samsung, what problem? Oh, Ekrem, oh, no, come on, die, pull up. Go on, die. Everybody is calling me. <laughs> You know, this sells people, this sells people. You know, every market you go, you see sales people, everybody's calling me to buy something. It's scary.
I don't know, like the place, the place do not look uh, look how that's today. I don't know, maybe because of the weekend, I'm sure. But it do not look, uh, it does not look more crowded. It do not look crowded because I remember when I was in Bamako, I went to the, I went to the big market. You will see a lot of people, you know, a lot of it's it's uh, it's contrast. Maybe it's because of the weekend. But I mean, this is a general market, so even the weekend people. Local traders come and do transactions, so I don't know what happened today. Anyway, so I'm calling, like, like, I'm walking randomly. I'm just going right and left. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think this leads me outside. Oops. I think this led me outside of the market, so I'm outside. So the market is divided. Another area also, you can find the market also. You can see. Oops, 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 oops. So guys, I think that's all for today's video because I've managed to show you guys the the biggest market in Niger. And then so I hope you like the video. Share, subscribe. Yeah, and then you make sure you put on the notification bell so you can know when the next video is out. Thank you so much for watching. So I want to see if I can get a taxi to go back home and from there go and rest, maybe edit this video in the evening, then tomorrow in the morning I um, I leave Niger to Nigeria, I 15 African countries. So I'll be finishing ECOWAS countries in Nigeria. I'm so happy, you know. Let me just show you guys this taxi. Just look at this one. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much for watching. See you guys in Nigeria. By the grace of the Lord, then you make sure you subscribe also, okay? So see you guys in Nigeria. I'll be leaving tomorrow in the morning to Nigeria. I'll be in Nigeria in the next two days because maybe the journey takes one day or two days to, 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 to Abuja or Lagos. I don't know. But anyway, thank you so much. See you guys in Nigeria. Merci beaucoup.